No organization is responsible for the content of this video. All errors and omissions are the sole responsibility of myself, David Iverson. This video must not be your only source of information. Please attend official USSA educational opportunities. Please download official USSA educational materials. So the topic that I have on this video is minutes of team captains meeting. Well, I'm having a team captains meeting for USSA races and non-scored races. And we should be moving in a positive direction on this. Um, basically, this is something that you need to do for every single race, regardless of the level of the race. So this was done for a J5 and J6 race. And in the East, there's not humongous amounts of travel that needs to happen so most people are showing up to the race the morning of the race and so it would be a serious hardship to have a team captain's meeting the night before the race so generally we're going to be having it uh, at 8 30 the morning of the race seems to be a time that works for a lot of people so there is a form uh, that exists for the fist races, but I find it really, really hard to use. And so I just want to get the basic information across. So I just have a minutes of team captains meeting, the place, Burke Mountain, Vermont, USA, the date, their race name, and the race codes. And then the time of the meeting is 8.30. The location is the base of the lift. And what did we cover? Well, we did welcomes and introductions. We did a roll call of team captains. Now, this is really critical. So we went through and made sure that there was a representative of every single club present at the meeting. And if there was athletes in the race that were not a member of one of those clubs, we made sure that they had representation at the meeting. And the coaches, as time evolves, coaches are getting better at doing this, and it becomes sort of uh, self-enforcing that if you have uh, 10 clubs that are showing up to a race and nine coaches show up to the meeting, well, they're going to be pretty angry if that 10th coach doesn't show up to the meeting. So they're going to make sure that that 10th coach shows up to the meeting because if they're going to show up, they want everybody to show up. And they've been really good about holding the meeting until we get representation from every single club present in the race. So that's been moving in the right direction. So... We do a roll call to make sure that every single athlete has a coach representing them at the meeting. And then we distribute the medical plan to the team captains. Uh, then we review and approve the schedule, which was for our races was published on the first page of the start list. Then we have some local rules. Um, our Palma surface lift, if people jump off it at the wrong locations, uh, it will derail, so we have something to that effect that that you will be um, disqualified or or kicked out of the race if you derail our lift. And then a little note on warm up areas. So where can they warm up? Where should they not warm up? Then finally, the team captains were given an opportunity to comment on the medical plan. Team captains informed were informed that leaving competitors in the race indicates their acceptance of the medical plan. And then the first run start list is approved by the team captains. The second run in reverse bib order within rage, age and gender class. Uh, the second, that's just local rules, Northern Vermont Council rules. So just they approve the start list, they approve the schedule, they approve the medical plan. Everybody was present. They knew about where the warm-up areas were, and then we adjourned the meeting. And then my information here as race secretary is right here, has my contact information. Okay, so like I said many times before, and I will say it in the future, do this all ahead of time. You know how the team captain's meeting is going to run. They all run the same way according to a formula. 
So do it ahead of time. And if something goes strange, well, then you can just change it and redo it. Okay. And so then here, there I've got um, minutes of team captains meetings. And then here I've got the attendance sheet. And so now I'm going to be using the FIS attendance sheet because there is no USSA attendance sheet. And this one works out pretty well. So I find in my master packet of forms the attendance list uh, of team captains meeting. And again, I just type in the contact information. Oh, let's zoom out here. So Burke Mountain, USA, the codexes or the race codes that I'm using, the name of the event, Northern Vermont Council, J5, J6, GS, the date of the event, uh, it's unscored, it's men and women, it's GS. Here I've got the technical delegate um, who's signed right there, the referee who's signed right there, the chief of race who's signed right there, and I was president at, present at the meeting, so I sign right there. And then down here is the team captains. So we had, so since it was a J5, J6 race, we really only had four clubs because there's a lot of J5s and 6s, so we split them up. So we had four clubs represented. Represented. We got four signatures. So we had a jury and coaches that were at a team captain's meeting. And this is what was discussed. And also I signed the minutes after the meeting happened. So that is USSA team captain's meeting minutes. You can certainly go... Uh, more in depth than that if you wish, but this should cover you.